What do you think about energy efficiency? I'm sitting at this table with an architect and now we're gonna find out. Let's roll the intro, right? Yes. Hey, Andrea here for Catus.eu and I am together with Kaur Talpsep. Carol is an architect, is my friend, and we met about uh, seven years ago, eight, it's almost eight, it's separate, right? It was the end of every Long time. Yeah. yeah. And we met when we were both taking a course to become uh, pass certified passive house consultants, right? Well, I did become the passive house designer. Yeah, he, yeah. he did, I became a consultant, he became a designer, right? So, but we were like uh, somehow thinking very energy efficiently, right? We had this uh, idea to make very good houses. And uh, so why is that? Why do you think that energy efficiency is important? Well, let's say it was eight years ago when yeah. we started this uh, thinking into energy efficiency. Well, I don't know, it is a basic question. The first energy efficiency of the humans were, uh, was founded when we, well, Basically, we started to use furs. Well, being naked in a to cave. Cover ourselves, yeah, right? being naked in a cave, you're losing too much energy. You have to burn more fuel. You have to eat more. Yeah. So, putting on the fur, you didn't need to eat that much. Now, stepping forwards, few thousands of years, tens of thousands of years, we are here. Uh, we don't need to think about fur anymore. We are now thinking about the cave or the house which we built and we are building. Uh, how to make the house more energy efficient. So I think it's a logical thinking to... So but if you're building a new house, uh, uh, is it a wise choice to make it more energy efficient? What do you think? In terms of, I mean, you're going to spend a little bit more probably, no. but you're going to save money later. Well, it? it's like, uh, let's say, when you're going to shop a car, the first thing you're not going to look is uh, how much does it burn the fuel. Mm. But then again, it might be the second thing. So it could be that the looks are most important, the functionality also. I mean, they are tied together. And then the energy efficiency, it's just uh, maybe a small step behind. But uh, that's how it is. That's, I think also that as architects work, that like, uh, first we think about the aesthetics and about, uh, about the program how the building is going to be used by the so future inhabitants. In your practice here, uh, what is your experience? Are people, do people care about energy efficiency or not? In the first meeting they say, yes, we do care about energy efficiency. I want to have like this zero net energy building. And later on, during the process, when let's say the most energy efficient housing would be a house without windows. So they have also other needs. So it's, yes. it's not only about the energy. So they have to find a compromise between the, the, the openings uh, and the, the glass facade mm -hmm. and the energy efficiency, mm -hmm. right? So glass uh, is less uh, energy efficient uh, than wall, right? That's kind of true. Far. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so if you have to design your own house, keep in mind that the windows uh, you should kind of no, make it a uh, nice size, but not too big. Otherwise, you're going to spill energy out. And uh, so let's talk a little bit uh, about uh, what is, uh, why we should choose wood versus uh, bricks or concrete or, or whatever other material. material. I think the building materials are very mm, much connected to the, to the region where you're living. So in some regions, let's say, I've been living in Spain for one year, uh, the wood was very scarce. So you didn't build in wood. Um, yeah, traditionally, they, yeah. They, they have other construction yeah. materials. So, so they, they did yeah. use concrete. Now, coming back to this uh, north, let's say, to the Eastern Europe, uh, bring, bringing the concrete to the construction site and building only out of concrete wouldn't be much uh, wise choice with it. Yeah. No, because in yeah. winter you cannot even do that. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so if you want to build uh, in the middle of the winter, probably mm. the only choice you have is to do it with, with other materials. Yeah. And wood is, is one of those materials. And using stone, 
I mean, uh, every kid knows that uh, stone is cold when yeah. it's cold outside. Yeah. So you need to insulate it. Now, going back to the wood, let's say, the traditional log buildings, they are yeah. for the countryside houses. Yeah. It's like the theme park. People do use it, but it's uh, not considering It's like the, a holiday house, you go there yeah. in summer, mm -hmm. yeah. So it, basically the, the wooden houses, timber frame wooden houses are probably the most uh, efficient way to build today because in the same space of, of the wall, in the same mm -hmm. section, you can pack more insulation inside, right? There are kind of many of different possible ways to build a house. I mean, there are like bricks of polystyrene which are poured full of concrete just yeah. to get the structure rigidity. But then uh, the wooden structure, which is very common to build a brick house and then add the wooden structure around it and then insulate it in between. I mean, that is the, uh, well, thinking about uh, environment and thinking about economically, it could be the most stupidest way to build. To because, build bricks and, yes. and wood. Yeah. Because otherwise you could just leave the bricks out and you would have still the same structure. Yes. But then you are building the house twice basically. Yeah. Bricks yeah. and wood. So there it comes that uh, wood is a wide choice if you're thinking about uh, insulating the house. Right? Yes. So uh, if you had uh, to, to, if a client comes to you and tells you, I want to make a, a wooden house, uh, what are your suggestions? I think it's a wise and environmentally friendly choice. But then again, there are those uh, questions you have to ask, like, how are you going to build the house in wood? Is it going to be log building? No. You say no, right. So is it going to be the balloon frame building? Well, it could be, yes. Is it going to be the cross laminated timber frame uh, or panel building. Mm -hmm. oh, that, that could also be it. But now thinking about the uh, frame building and uh, about the traditional methods of building, there are those uh, obstacles that you have to come over. And the, the main obstacles, uh, the main obstacle is a human person who's building on site because uh, when, when building on site, the things are quite error prone. Yes. First of all, you have to find the right crew and then you have to check if they do like if they follow the project. Yeah, if, and they, if they follow the procedure of applying yes. the different layers of the materials. So now when I'm thinking about uh, building a balloon frame house, I'm always thinking about uh, producing it in a safe environment in under the well, Controlled circumstances. Yes, I think yeah. it's like industrial building process in a factory. Yeah, I mean today we get everything out of a yeah. factory, the phones, uh, whatever uh, machinery we're using, it comes from a factory. But houses generally they're not coming from a factory. And if, if we say that we get our house uh, from a factory, then people are like, how, how can you do that? But we can. And uh, the more we do it, the more we can specialize on, on this process and it looks uh, more and more different from the, the carpenter work on the site. Mm -hmm. Well, it's the regular guy going to work every day, doing the same thing on the same place. He has the tools always in the same, let's say, shelf. So yeah. he knows how to do it. He brings the material from the same shelf every day. There is day. no rain, there is no wind. Yeah, there is nothing. <laughs> he's working maybe, well, he's happy whistling and doing the stuff every day which he knows how to do it. Exactly. Which is not happening on the site. Yeah. Well, it tends to happen very... So let, let's uh, spend two words uh, about yeah, what, what is happening on, on the site. Let's say that you have all your insulation material on the side mm. and you kind of have the house uh, up, you have to put the insulation. What if the weather is... Uh, what kind of crappy? possible scenarios there could be? I mean, that uh, let's say the roof or the walls are already insulated and then you have heavy rain and then the procedure should be that the, that the cladding or let's say the uh, rain barrier is already installed mm -hmm. but uh, I mean everybody is a human you don't yeah, you cannot you don't, really control it yeah. I mean you no. have to be there yeah so you do it in, uh, in steps just uh, no so a it question. Could get wet right yeah, it gets yeah, wet. And wet insulation. 
it doesn't well, work yeah. anymore. Uh, plus, it can mold if you don't dry it properly after the building is finished. But so I want to ask you, how long it takes to make a house uh, on site, like with, with uh, cutting <laughs> and <laughs> making it making it on it site? It used to take years. Now I think that typically it's a one-year process okay. building. Building from yeah. from scratch, so you have yes. the foundation. You go there yeah. with the sticks, mm -hmm. and then you yeah. start. Takes so, and uh, for comparison, like a house that comes from the factory, goes up uh, in about five days. So yeah. even if the weather is not wonderful, mm -hmm. you you can uh, still cope with it. You can kind of make it quick, and then of course after the house is closed, you can dry mm -hmm. it with with uh, machines. You can yeah. can just make it warm and suck the humidity out. So this is uh, from from an energy efficiency point of view is a friendly way of building houses. I mean, right? What is very important in the energy efficient houses? Like you have uh, the insulation, which when it is wet, it doesn't insulate. And the other thing is air, right? So it needs the to air. be airtight. Yeah, yeah, of course. So you can control it when you are building it on a site. You can't. Uh, I mean, when you're putting up the balloon frame house on, on the site, you can't control it. Yeah. But when you do it in factory, you're doing the same process, uh, it, is, it is much better controllable. Yes. Now, when you put up the elements on the site, you just need to basically control those few overlapping panes yes. you need to tape together. And let's say also there is another point. Much less hassle. When we make a house in the factory, we have a lot more design than when we make a house on site. Oh, yeah. So yeah. on site, basically, you give instruction to mm -hmm. the workers. They yeah. have just the, the, the blueprint of the house and they take care of putting it, putting it together. But in factory, for every element, you have detailed drawings of the element with all the layers inside. So it's a lot more design work. But the result is that the workers know exactly what they should do and they have procedures to, to check uh, the quality of each uh, component of the house. Right? The outcome should be much better. It should be yeah. much better, yes. So, uh, this, is why we, this is why we at Katus uh, uh, talk always about wooden prefabricated houses because uh, they, their quality generally is much better and uh, they offer better energy performance and uh, the price is not that different actually if you compare it with uh, for the same energy performance right the price of the wooden house is probably lower than a, a brick house or a concrete house that has wall much more thicker to to get to the same energy yeah like we were telling first you build the brick wall, then and you then add you the wooden add, layer, yes. and then you add the insulation. And this is true also for CLT, for example. Yeah, okay. It's much more, how to say, rigid. Mm -hmm. It's better structure if you want, but then you still have to add the insulation but it, outside. I mean, it has different usage. I mean, to go yeah. high, you use CLT. Yeah, of course. To, to stay low, you don't need to use CLT. Yeah, I mean, yeah. if you want to, you can, of, of course, use it for aesthetical and uh, other, other usage. All right. right? So let's wrap it up. This was uh, Kaur Talpsep and uh, we talked about energy efficiency. If you have some comment, just make sure you, you comment uh, in the comment space below and smash the like button for me. I'll see you in the next video. Ciao. Ciao. Okay.